Good morning, you guys. I want to do a little morning beauty routine. Uh, I need to get ready this morning, do some skincare, do some makeup, do some hair. And I just want to show you guys kind of like a quick morning beauty routine. Um, we'll see how quick it is. But my skin has been absolutely like freaking out. I don't know why. I think I had mentioned on my Instagram quite a while ago that I was going off birth control TMI, but I just, I don't like taking it. I like to be as natural as possible. And I just, I didn't like it. I didn't want to be on it. So I went off that a few months ago. And the first time I ever did that, cause I used to take it for cramps cause I have horrible cramps. Like the kind where you, you can't do anything all day cause it's just so painful. So I went on that, it helped tremendously. But then when I went on that health diet, I had to go off of it. This is a long way of saying my skin exploded. So I was really scared that was gonna happen again, but it didn't. My skin was like totally clear and perfect. Um, I feel like now it's going through that. So I wanna cover up some of this and give my skin some TLC. But before we do that, I need to shave my mustache. So I'm going in with this Flawless Beauty little shaver thing. And it's my favorite tool for hair removal. Um, my skin is really sensitive to like razors and things. So like when I use even those like little face um, razor things, um, it just irritates my skin. Even this sometimes gives me like little bumps. Hold on, I have to look in the mirror. Um, but I find that it irritates my skin the least of all the hair removal options. So, now that we've got a smooth mustache, I'm gonna go in with some toner on my face. When I'm breaking out a lot, I try to just not really do too much different to my skin, but just give it a lot of moisture and um, then add kind of like some spot treatments and things like that because in the past I used to just like pile on so many different like treatments and masks and serums and all this different stuff and I found that that actually irritated my skin more so. So I actually found that just doing kind of my regular routine, adding a little bit of extra moisture, um, and then some spot treatment is what helps the most. I'm gonna use some Glossier Balm.com for my lips. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Santosha moisturizer. After I've applied moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with my Vanity Planet Forever Young tool. This is the hot and cold rejuvenating wand. I'm gonna start with the hot one because this one helps your moisturizer and all that skin product that I just used soak into the skin really well. It also just feels like really relaxing and really nice on the skin. And then after that, I'm gonna switch to cold and that's gonna lock in everything and de-puff the skin, which I need especially underneath of my eyes. And I feel like too, when I have like a lot of breakouts and things, sometimes just stimulating the skin and relaxing the skin, you know, like either with that hot or that cold, you know, just kind of getting the blood flow and then kind of soothing the skin really helps. The last thing I'm gonna do for skincare is going with this little jade roller from Skin Drop. <clears throat> I really love to use this on kind of this like jawline area because I feel like it kind of releases tension from these muscles here because I clench my jaw and I just feel like it kind of gets the blood moving and then I'm gonna use the small side on my under eyes and this like stays cold even if it's not in the fridge so it also de-puffs and just feels like really refreshing on your under eyes. That is it for the skincare. Let's move on to makeup. Um, I definitely need to match my face to my body because I just self-tanned last night, but I didn't do my face because I have a lot of breakouts right now. Um, sometimes I'll do my face and sometimes I don't. It just depends. I'm gonna try and just still have my makeup look really natural, but just kind of match my face to my body and 
cover up some of the breakouts. I'm going to be kind of following the tips that I gave in my how to cover acne video because I feel like we have a tendency to kind of just like layer on a bunch of product when we break out but I actually find that it looks a lot better if we don't layer too much and we keep it pretty natural. I'll link everything I use down in the description box if I don't mention it. Right there though, it's like I already match my body so much better. I'm gonna add some glow. Sometimes I use this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter before my makeup, which I generally do that, but sometimes I just apply it afterwards too. It just kind of depends. Um, I feel like it's a really versatile product. You can use it a lot of different ways. You can use it on its own, on top of makeup, under makeup, um, really whatever you want to do. I like to take my sponge and kind of like make sure the hairline doesn't have any product gathered up there because I feel like that can make your makeup look really heavy or even just really undone if you like have a lot of product in your hairline. Next I'm going to use my Ilia concealer and just conceal under my eyes and then with this one because the shade is a little dark um, I do bring it on other areas just to kind of um, match it other places. Next I'm going to put a little of this milk baked um, bronzer and just add a little bit of cream bronzer. I've been liking to blend it out with this glossy powder brush. Um, I really need to wash this brush at this point, but yeah, like I, I that's disgusting. <laughs> but I've been really liking this powder brush to blend creams out. I feel like it works like really well. Well, just we're, we're gonna get to the hair. It's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush on again with this brush. Next, I wanna add some highlight. This is the Lawless Highlight. I've been obsessed with this. Um, I like to add highlight before I set my skin with any powder because I feel like it just applies better and looks glowier and kind of stands out more. And while we're here, I've also been putting this on my eyelids as well, just as like a little bit of shadow. Um, I did this in my bronze makeup look and I've been liking how it's like subtle but still something, you know? I'm gonna follow up with the Lawless Golden Hour Bronzer. And I've actually just been using this fan brush um, that I use my highlight on and I just use this for bronzer as well. I'm gonna take just an eyebrow, eyebrow eyeshadow brush and put the same bronzer in the crease of my eye um, just so it's like really subtle and neutral but gives a little dimension. Okay, I'm going to powder just a little bit underneath of my eyes. I picked up this brush from Real Techniques. It's like a little highlighter brush almost, um, but I like it for powdering under my eyes so that I can get just like a very targeted light amount of powder. So I've just been kind of, whoopsies, okay. That defeated the purpose of the light amount of powder. That's okay, we'll just use whatever's left and kind of put it on the T-zone. That's where I like to put any excess powder. And you guys know I like to kind of powder over my eyebrows because I feel like the brow product sticks a lot better if you do that. And to add a little bit of mascara, I'm just gonna throw my brows on as quick as possible. Doing brows is my least favorite part of makeup. What is your guys' least favorite part? I feel like we all have that step in makeup that we're just like, ugh. I wish it could just be done when I start. Brows is mine. I hate doing my brows. We're almost done. I'm gonna add some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then we're just gonna do some lips and I'm gonna do my hair because I need to do it. All right, you guys, this is 
so sad. If you guys have watched my channel, you know. The Max Trick Down Lip Liner. It's my all time favorite lip liner. It's gone. It's gone. I can't even take it out anymore. The last little bit fell out and it's gone. So that's really sad for me. But I have another one from ColourPop that I like, but I'm gonna have to order that lip liner because it is my all time favorite. So I off any lip balm foundation. I'm gonna go in with MAC Blossom Friend. This is probably my favorite nude right now, and it looks really light. It is really light when you put it on, but I kind of just apply that, and then obviously it looks too light, but then you go in with a lip liner. This is the one from ColourPop in BFF, and I just apply, I'm just gonna add a dab of Glossier Clear Gloss in the middle. That's makeup done. Now I definitely want to do my hair because it's looking crazy. Alright, so I'm going to add just a little bit of curl to my hair. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I just reviewed this T3 curling wand on my channel. Um, ben surprised me with it, so I wanted to test it out for you guys. So I'm using the, I don't know if it's one and a fourth, I think, inch. I just want like kind of a subtle curl today. Um, I like how quick this is when you use the larger barrels because I don't need like a ton of curl or anything crazy. I just want to add a little bit of texture to my hair. And then I like to kind of go over the ends so that they're a little bit more straight at the end. basically just wanted a little bit of wave and I feel like that's what I got from that just like something really simple really quick so that I can feel like my hair has a little bit of texture without it being like super done so that's it you guys that is it for this little morning beauty routine getting ready with me if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i post new videos every single monday wednesday and friday i will link all the products down below in the description box that i use in today's video if you're interested in any of them thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye